Hello friends, this is Ankush Bhatt with Catia tutorial number 6. In this tutorial, we will learn about constraint tool, auto constraint tool, contact constraint tool, and constraint definition tool. On the left hand side, we have Catia V5 window, and on the right hand side, we have step by step instructions for the whole tutorial which you can write down. Let's start by creating a new file. Go to start, mechanical design, part design. Give a file name to your file as I am giving it Jimmy. So a new file with file name Jimmy has been created. Choose any plane from the part tree as I am going with XY plane or we can choose the plane from here. Select the sketcher tool. This is the sketcher workbench. These are the sketcher tools on the right interface, bottom interface and on the top interface. Let's start with constraint tool. This is the constraint tool and this is the auto constraint tool. By clicking the bottom arrow of the constraint tool, we will get the contact constraint tool and the constraint tool and we can drag this toolbox with the help of this corner slot. By the left click of the mouse, we can drag it to the screen. Now we can learn about these constraints with some figures. Let's draw a rectangle, circle, Let's delete this circle as it has been already constrained. Let's draw a line, an arc. And just take these toolbox to side. So let's learn about constraint tools. Constraint tools are used to define the dimension of the sketch or to constrain the dimension of the sketch or we can edit the dimension of the sketch just pick up the tool and as it has already selected it so we can have defined the radius of the arc and now pick up the tool or we can select the sketch first and after that pick up the tool now we are defined the length of the line as it is 133.264 mm and we have constrained the dimension of the line now if you try to dra drag this rectangle the length won't be changed but the sketch which is not dimensioned or constrained will change so this is how we can constrain the sketch with the help of constraint tool and we can change the dimension of the sketch by the constraint tool by double clicking on the dimensions and by changing it from here as I am changing it to 100 mm. Now we can define the distance between the sketches or constrain the distance between sketches by picking up the constraint tool and selecting this sketch and then this sketch. Now we have defined the distance between the circle and the rectangle. Sorry for the interruption. So let's resume again. So so in this we have defined the distance between the rectangle and the circle and we can edit this distance by double clicking on the distance and we can change it to 100 mm okay now we can pick up the tool and define the dimension of this edge of the rectangle pick up the tool and as if we try to dimension this edge it will show indicate the purple color purple color means that we have over dimensioned or over constrained our sketch as it has already we had already just constrained this side so it's not necessary to just constrain this side if we try to edit this dimension it won't be able to edit it as if i'm just making it 50 mm we won't be able to change it to 50 mm but if we just delete one dimension it will change to 50 mm so this is how the constraint tool works now moving on to auto constraint tool let's first delete all these constraints by control key select all these constraints by control key and by right click just delete them all now auto constraint like in the last constraint tool we needed to just pick the tool again and again for the different sketches but 
it's not in the case with auto constraint in auto constraint we have to just pick it at once and just choose the sketch one by one and our sketches are being dimensioned or constrained this this is the length of our line this is the distance between the circle and our line so it has automatically constrained the distances the dimensions of our sketches and now we can edit these dimensions by double clicking on the dimensions as I'm changing it to 50 mm so the length has been changed to 50 mm or we can change the distance between the sketches as I'm changing it to 40 mm so you can see the length has been decreased now moving on towards to the contact constraint the third point so let's delete all these sketches by this selection window and pressing delete let's draw a rectangle and a circle as con this is the contact constraint as a contact constraint by its name this tool help us to define contact between two sketches as we have picked up the tool and selected one sketch now by selecting this edge of the sketch we will just make the contact between these two sketches so so if we have to make the contact between two sketches we can use contact tool contact constraint tool now moving towards to the constraint definition tool just select the circle and this tool is the this tool is called the constraint definition tool and this tool we get a list of the constraints which we can apply to our sketch but the constraints which can be applied are shown in the dark black color and by just clicking on the checkbox we can define those constraints as in this we just can define the radius and diameter so by by just deleting the checkbox we just deleted the constraint and by just clicking on the checkbox we just have that constraint so we can do this to our rectangle also so length by length we can define the length of the line or as h means horizontal and v means vertical constraint by just deleting the checkbox we will delete the horizontal constraint or by just clicking on the checkbox we have just constrained it with horizontal constraint and clicking ok or there one more thing let's work it on with some other sketches let's select two sketches with the control key and the constraint definition so now in this time we can just measure the distance between these two sketches or we can take the radius or diameter of these sketches as we can see or we can fix these sketches or we can coincide these sketches or we can just make these two circles concentric or we can just add tangency constraint to these sketches so let's add just remove the distance constraint and let's add concentricity so now we can see that these two circles are being concentric to each other we can use this constraint definition tool to just adjust our sketch or to just define the dimensions of our sketch accordingly so i hope you learn from this video and thanks for watching this video